Hey everyone, welcome back to Jiggy Plays Pokemon Trading Card Game. In the last episode, we took on the Grass Club and uh, won the Grass Medal, which was awesome. And we also got the, I believe we got the Water Medal as well. So, uh, pretty successful episode all in. Now, I was wandering around a bit, I noticed there was another Challenge Cup. So, let's have a go. The second Challenge Cup is now underway. Defeat three opponents and win the wonderful prize of a level 8 Mew. It'll be a one-match duel with four prizes. I'll tell you what, I'm going to say no. Let me save. Because then if I screw it up... There we go. Right, so it'll be the same thing as before. Somebody's already there by the look of it. Things are heating up at the Challenge Cup. Okay, is a, it does say that, doesn't it? K is still a contender. K is the new challenger. It's so weird. Oh, it's Jessica. I love the battle deck. It's the same one we did before. When we fought her for the fighting club, and I remember it being a little bit of a pain. Oh yeah, she's got the um, a champ evolution line. God, again? Surely three times I, I win, right? Thank you. Okay, I've got two Abras. That's not great, but we've got that Blastoise as well, so that's always good. Okay, we're going first. That's always a good start. And um, we've got a Squirtle straight off the bat. That's awesome. So let's get him ready. Now, Dodgeo is the only basic Pokemon she's got, but by the time I get to attacking it, it's probably going to be tanked up to all hell. Ooh. We're talking about it in my um, uh, Final Fantasy uh, Let's Play as well, which I'm still doing at the moment. And uh, just what they say about how warm the UK has been the last couple of days. It's been like 41 degrees. It's just been madness. Um, me and my poor wife, my. Yeah, she's 37, 38 weeks pregnant, and she's she's not she's not doing very well. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, but we've both felt it today. I do hope uh, anyone in the UK is uh, sort of keeping safe and not uh, not being silly, and you know just keeping keeping indoors and making sure that you. Okay. We might win here and now. Because we can attach that there, and that's 50 damage, so surely that's a win. Awesome. Yep. Excellent. I love how fast we can get Blastoise out sometimes. Okay, it's defeated one opponent. You, you can bet your bottom dollar that the last one's going to be bloody Ronald, right? Who's this now? Jonathan. Is he Fire Club? Oh, we can save in between. That's cool. The second match begin. Yes, yeah, the reshuffle deck. This one wasn't too bad. I seem to remember it was. It was bloody. What's his face? Um, John. He was a pain in the ass. Okay, we've only got the Abra this time, but we have got the psychic uh, energy for it. Nice. Okay, we've got War Turtle as well. See, I think that, jig that uh, Jigglypuff's probably going to be resistant. Yeah. But it's paralysed. That's a start. If we can keep paralysing it, we can just sort of wall it for a while. Mm. We might be in a bit of trouble here. Okay, so I should... We could do with getting a Squirtle, because we've got the War Turtle, so we could do with a Squirtle at this point. I reckon he's probably going to go for a Wigglytuff. I'm pretty sure he's got Wigglytuff. Another Abra, not, not uh, overly handy. Bloody hell. Jonathan must be pulling his freaking hair out about now. I know I would be. While you're while you're thinking, Jonathan, I'm gonna take a sip of. Uh... <laughs> take a sip of diet coke. 
He's going for that wiggly tough, he must be. I mean, just in case, I guess. Okay. Expand all damage and reduce by 10. Oh, I can't, I can't hurt the damn thing anyway, so. Squirtle, finally, okay. Now we can start building a bit more of a, an offense. Oh, I should have attacked. Pidgeotto, impressive. Right, we better get that War Turtle on the go. I'll try and paralyze it if I can. No, okay. Abra's gonna go down, we'll be a prize down, but that's okay. I mean, if I can get Blastoise, that'd be awesome, or a computer search, that'd be great. Right, I'm going to send out Abra. Might sound a bit daft, but... I wanted to make sure we could definitely uh, kill this thing. That was all. Because it's zero retreat cost, so you may as well, right? Not gonna matter. War Turtle's gonna bite your ass into oblivion. Ocean, nice. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Dugong. Dugong, gong, gong. Damn. That Pidgeot is pretty much ready to rock and roll. Let me check its resistance, because it's resistant to Psychic, I'll just retreat out, but if it's not... No, it's not. Okay. So I may as well... Oh, I'm not going to be able to. I've got no bloody Psychic Energy. Okay. Put the water on Squirtle, because then we've got two um, possibilities, haven't we, for... Um, uh, Blastoise. Also, if he uses that Whirlwind again. Which he probably will. I'll go to the other Squirtle because uh, Bobble might be able to do quite a bit of damage. Um, please paralyze it. Oh crap. That's just giving him a free turn, that's annoying. Oh, big mistake. Because War Tort is going to absolutely wipe you out. This is a scary attack, though. 80 damage potential here. And he won't get it. He probably won't ever get 80, but... Okay, Squirtle's down. That's a shame. It's still scary. Yeah, she's got, she's got 80 HP. I'll, I'll take him out with... Uh, War Tort, or no problem. Blastoise. Perfect timing. Load him up. That's 120 damage, fool. Right, now we're really getting somewhere. Heal Whirlwind, which is fine, so I'll go into Abra, who will then be able to retreat out for free. Lapras, okay. You retreat for Blastoise. In fact, I can... There we go because of Rain Dance. Blastoise is an absolutely amazing Pokemon. Oh, we got Mewtwo, very nice. Okay, Lucky Tongue. At most, he can paralyze me. Okay, to be fair, after all those coins I got with Abra, I kind of deserve that. But I have got a full heal, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Alright, just one more attack, that'll be enough. Okay. Lucky I kept that full heal in, I was thinking of taking that out. 
We don't really need energy search, so I'm just gonna... Because we might have to wall this guy for a bit if he keeps getting good paralysis. No, okay, you're done. So the next one should be Ronald, I'd imagine. Good job, Blastoise. You saved my ass at the last minute. Good job. Oof. I thought it was going to take the Blastoise evolution chain out, to be honest. It was uh, It was only because um, I really like the Pokemon, I wanted to keep him in. It's going to be... Yeah, it's Ronald. I know it's like hairdo anywhere. I'm going to defeat you. I'm going to defeat you. Level 8 Mew belongs to me. Let the third match begin. I will save. Invincible Rock. Okay, we've actually f we faced this deck before, I'm pretty sure. Lapras, Abra. Okay, we always seem to get an Abra. Which is unnerving. Okay, he's got two as well. One main and one... Uh, Nice. Blastoise, beautiful. Um, I'm not going to compute so it's just yet. I don't want to get rid of too much. The problem is he's just going to wall us with that scyther. It's going to die and then... Um... Oh no, he's actually going to try and use it. Impressive. Seal. I'll do 20. The next one I'll do 30. So what I might do, I might actually try and confuse him. Oh, crap. Clever, Ronald. Well done. You actually did well there. Okay, let's start getting uh, Abra ready, I think. And... Uh, again, I don't really want to computer search if I can help it. Try and confuse him, I guess. I know it's a coin flip, but nah. I couldn't kill him either way, so. He might use Sword Stance again, which would be incredibly thick. It would be an incredibly stupid thing to do. No, he is going for that. I was going to say, even for Ronald, that would be daft. Oh, Vaporeon, we haven't seen you for a few uh, few bounce, but I don't think you're going to be hugely helpful. So what I might do, I might actually computer search... Um... I really want a Squirtle, but I don't think I'm going to... Unless... Let's try and do this first. Okay, paralysed him. Yeah, I was going to say, I had a horrible feeling for a second there, he'd be resistant. If we could build a few cards up. Um, I'll get rid of a Water Energy and a Vaporeon for Squirtle, I think. Oh, oh, Pokemon Brit. No, let's go for Squirtle, it's guaranteed then. Because then I've got another Pokemon that can paralyze. If I can get that Pokemon breeder though, that'd be awesome. Hmm. I stick Squirtle out there, because either way, he's done. That side that dealt with. I think he's got another one as well. Yeah, he has. Yeah. What's that on? Oh, of course, it is on two, isn't it? Yeah, not much good now, numb nuts. Slashes. Yeah, that's going to kill him, I think. 
Oh no, I'm weak to thunder, not to... Uh... <sighs> um... Grass. I haven't got my head screwed on today, guys. I do apologise. This heat has really messed me up and I'm sweating like anything's business today. Okay, now I'll kill him. Yeah, I think we might have to take a mulligan on this one, guys. It's really unfortunate, actually. Mm. Too little, too late, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to end it, I think, because uh, we can always try again. Okay, I'm going to have to do a hard reset. Bear with me, guys. And we're back. Uh, okay, not an amazing draw, but not awful. We've got uh, Kadabra, which could be useful. We've got Presser Oak as well, which is nice. Awesome. And Mewtwo, very nice. Uh, go for Seal straight away. Because that cadaver is resistant to Psychic, I'm pretty sure. It takes a ton of time for him to load it up, so... What he tends to have a habit of is he'll load it up, right, and then it takes, like, one turn to kill it. Um, let's get Eevee on the go as well. I might Professor Oak in the hope that we can get a Psychic Energy for Mewtwo. I know it's not much good against Kangaskhan, but... See, that's another turn he's wasted on Kangaskhan, so... Ooh, Dugong, very nice. Now I don't want to... Professor Oak. Let's see if we can get another energy. Because, to be honest, it's the, um, it's the Aurora Beam you want. Vaporeon, nice. It's okay, we're not in any immediate danger like last time, so that's okay. I think we'll be alright. See, that's what I mean, he's going to load it up, but... Oh, here we go. He's going to load it up, and then it's going to die, because it's so... It needs four energy, so unless he's got a double colourless, he won't be able to use it for at least another two turns. Okay, that's a squirt. Well, that's not too bad. I would really like an energy, any energy card will do, because I think it's two water and one colourless for Aurora Beam. Yeah, there it is. Damn it. Oh. Right, seal dealt with. That's you going out of the picture. Uh, let's go with Vaporeon, because it's the next most... Oh, now I get one, of course, right? Screw it. Cadabra's not going to be super helpful to me this time, anyway. Okay. Now we're cooking with some gas. Quick attack. Would have been nice to have got the extra 20, but never mind. Damn, man, you're down to 30 cards already. Oh, screw you. I freaking hate Gust of Wind so much. Oh, go on, get three tails. It'll be... Oh, no. Okay. I was going to say, it'll be hilarious. Such a scary attack, that. Okay, well, that's that dealt with. It's 30 damage, so...
That's for Mewtwo. Oh, you swine. He's actually playing pretty well. I'll give him that. Oh, what's in my discard? He's going to do 60 damage next turn. Let's load Mewtwo up ready. We can't, we can't kill Scyther next turn regardless, so we may as well... Uh, like this turn, sorry, regardless, so we may as well, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be 60. And the next one's gonna kill him. I'll put a Psychic on there just, just to be safe. I'm almost tempted, yeah, Joe, you know I'm gonna do it. Cyburn! Good job I did put a Psycho Energy on. I'd be really upset if I didn't. There's War Turtle. Just need Blastoise now. Now this is that Stone Barrage attack. This is really scary. There's one. Okay, just one. <laughs> it's because it's got infinite possibility. The game will never allow him on, say, five in a row, I dare say, but you just don't know. A lot of the time. I'm going to computer search for Blastoise. There he is. <laughs> oh, I can't, yeah. May as well get him on the go. This Mewtwo, I was pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a promo for going to see the first movie. The first movie of this, um, of Pokemon was amazing. I'm pretty sure it was like the first like, movie to portray psychic voices with the surround sound or something. It was like, it was the first of something. Because I remember, oh, of course. Because I also remember that, um... But I've got Blastoise. Huh? Um, it's a fine energy card when you're a water Pokemon, it doesn't use an energy card for the turn. So why can't I use it? Maybe it has to be on in the attack position, I don't know, but that's weird. I mean, it doesn't matter, because... Oh, Chansey. Yeah, that thing is a wall. I'm also pretty sure... She's resistant to Psychic. Yeah, okay, let's get him out. Let's get Mewtwo out of there. Get Blastoise out. That is so strange. It's like it hasn't registered that he's there. It's really odd. And I'm not a, I'm not confused or asleep or anything, so... I wonder why it's not letting me do it. It might just be a glitch, but that's alright, I've got another one. Oh, you screwball. <sighs> yeah, pointless uh, doing anything. Oh, he's going to get double edge. Oh no, or not. Oh, what a shame, right? What an absolute tragedy. Right, let's stick it on Blastoise. Might as well get as much damage in as we can. Should have gone for Double Edge. Oh no, because it does 80 to hit. It does 80 to them. That's why I couldn't do it. Bloody Muck was on the bench. That's a... I'm almost certain that's why I couldn't do it. You're an idiot. Hmm. 
<sighs> Ronald's playing all right, actually, to be fair to him. Well, I can't push it any higher than that, so I may as well not bother. Uh, let's get a seal on the guys, just in case things are horribly awry, which I doubt. We got him. God, that was pretty good, actually. That was pretty tense. Ronald actually played that really well. Yeah, good job, Ronald. You didn't soak that time. But I'll be having that Mew, thank you. Most unfortunate, Ronald, you suck. Do go home. Shoot, I got you got a bad deal. You're a you're a pompous git. You got a bad Oh yes, I got a bad deal. <laughs> Screw you. Yeah, I'll have that promotional level A Mew, thank you. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done by Mew by devolved Pokemon. Ooh. Flip a coin if heads Pokemon are paralyzed. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. I might drop it in there. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually thinking about where to head next. I'm actually thinking of going to the Rock Club. Uh, just because... Why not, right? Ooh, can we take on the Master straight away? I am Gene, the master of the Rock Club. Rock is good. Isn't Rock good, Kay? Rock is hard and strong. Doesn't crumble under pressure. After you duel me, you'll know I'm right to come. Show him what you want. Oh, we can duel him. Screw it. You won't get the Rock Medal unless you defeat me. Okay, we've got uh, Brock's old man. It would see. I can't believe we can go straight into the duel with Gene. That's awesome. Okay, seal this. Mm. Could have done with a little more, but that's okay. Now, if memory serves, there isn't a rock type in PTCG. So, I'm pretty sure he uses fighting and rock. Sorry, fighting and colorless. So that's really good for me, because if I can get Cadabra going, I'm going to absolutely annihilate his forces. Which is good. That Rhyhorn's pretty fear fear uh, inducing. Flip a coin. Finn Purple can't attack Rhyhorn. Hmm. Okay. If he gets a right done, that's really, really scary. Ooh, computer search, definitely. Let's go get Abra. There he is. Come on, you psychic little git. I can evolve him next turn, and hopefully the next two turns we'll have an opportunity to get another energy card on him. Okay, and that's fine. I always wondered, like, back in the day of Pokemon, I always wondered what the, like, Leah and all that actually did. What it actually looked like. Obviously, I was very young. Yeah, I can't attack, that's fine. Now, it doesn't matter if he gets this, because I can just retreat. There we go. Because retreating ends the effect, I think he said. Okay, I'll keep the water energy, because I actually need those, so... That should kill him outright. Yeah. Diglett is as good as gone. Or not. Damn. Okay. Hmm. Now what to do? What's his uh, weakness? That's important. Grass. Okay. Might have balls up a little here, guys. I could recover, but then he could just do it again. And it will be in a never-ending cycle, so... Because I've not got, um... Alakazam in the deck anymore, because it's just... I 
just don't think he's that good. The damage swap thing's okay, but... Okay, that's the trio done dealt with. Another Abra, that's good. Now, Geodude, I'm almost certain, is uh, weak to water. No, grass then. Must be. Yeah, he's using Geodude as a wall. Ooh, Pokemon Breeder. Damn it. If we can get a squirt lad, that'll be awesome. Oh, okay, we got Blastoise. Okay, we've got a few prizes ahead now. We're pulling ahead a little. Knew it. I knew we'd have another one. We'll pop Seal out for the time being. We can build Lapras up. If we uh, get uh, Blastoise out, then uh, that'll be all. Uh, Squirtle, sorry, that'll be awesome. <laughs> not, not much good to us. <laughs> you watch, and I'll go. I'll get a bloody Dugong next. That dog trio is probably going to be the problem. Let's try and confuse him. This is the one time where I could really do with it going off Lapras. Come on. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we wouldn't normally be allowed to do that, so... Because I've only just placed Squirtle down. Okay, finally. Now, if he confuses, he'll actually hit himself, which will kill it, so... Oh, okay. Press her over. That's not a bad shot. Diggly dig, diggly dig, trio, trio, trio. Please? Oh, damn it. I'd have loved to have got that off. Let's send Abra out. We're in a bit of a pickle here. He still might confuse himself though, which is good. Yes! What? I thought I did 30 damage. Oh well. This will get you either way. Surely he's got a third one. Mud slap? That does 30 damage? Jeez. Not messing about. Oh damn it, he's only got one prize left. I'm gonna retreat out. There's no way he's got another one. If he used it by now, surely. Oh no, I need I need that last water energy, please. I need it next turn, otherwise I'm screwed. Please give me a water energy, thank you. And you can give me a potion as well if you like, I don't mind. And as long as he hasn't got anything that could do 40 damage in one hit. Eh, he's gonna go for Geo, dude. Uh, Graveler, even. Yeah, knew it. 30 less damage. Oh, okay. 
Mm, potion would have been nicer, but that's okay. Let's check out that Glarot Graveler. No, not Onyx Graveler. Uh, it's got no resistance. It's weakness is grass. <sighs> Problem is, he's got a rock throw, which is going to kill Blastoise instantly. Damn it. Oh. Oh, we just won. Oh, screw you, Gene. We just won. Yes. All because he didn't have an extra energy card. Oh, I can't believe we've got the rock medal, guys. Come on. Your persistence, persistence to even break rock, has led you to defeat me. You're worthy of receiving the rock medal. Only two more to go, guys. We could probably have another crack, crack at another one now. Mystery. Okay, I'm not a massive fan of these ones. I think we've got a good deck here, guys. I think we've got a decent deck. Another double colorless. Hmm. I'm not going to bother the dueling the, the sort of the scrubs. I'll uh, come to them later. It's me, Dr. Mason. I have some information about Gene's deck. He's the master of the Rock Club. His Rock Crusher deck is extremely strong against lightning Pokemon, but weak against grass. I suggest you study the deck from the Grass Metal Deck Machine. Before I forget, here's a booster. It's so weird. Kingler, Kakuna, Haunter. Mm, not bad. Yeah, I don't know that winky face he does. It's so strange. Right, we've got a bit of extra time, so why don't we have a look at another club? I think I might take a look at the Psychic Club. Only because... Um, I'll speak to some of these people. Remember the Psychic Club? My ghost is really strong. How many witnesses? Uh, not right now, Robert. Thanks. Drop some more cards and putting them in order. Okay. Legendary Pokemon cards are the ultimate cards. Everyone wants to inherit the legendary cards. That's why we play so many different people. I can't play right now. Dark people think too highly of themselves. That's why I don't like the members of the Psychic Club. I wish I could knock them off their high horses. Would you try to defeat Murray, the Psychic Club Master? If you defeat Murray, I'll give you something really valuable. Oh. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Huh. Again, we can get straight to Murray. Can we take him on? I'm Murray, Master of the Psychic Club. You're the one who's visited the clubs to win the medals. How do I know this? Because I'm psychic. Okay, let me test my new card strategy against your deck. Are you ready? Apparently so. I hope you don't mind me going straight for the leaders, guys, but I think we've got a really good deck. Now, Psychic Club's a weird one for us because we've got a lot of psychic Pokemon, and that's our weakness, but it's also his. So... That could work in our favour. We'll get Seal out initially. I don't want to put an Abra out just yet. I want to try and get a Cadabra if I can help it. So yeah, that, that's exactly why. Because I knew I had a funny feeling he'd have some colourless in there as well. But again, it's going to take him forever to get that thing rocking and rolling, so... Let's take a little sip. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start getting the Abra tooled up, I think. We'll get rid of Vaporeon and a Psychic Energy for Kadabra. Um, for... Yeah, Kadabra. I know I'm weak to it as well, but that's okay. And I know Kangaskhan won't fall to it, but at the very least, we can get him going. So it looks like he's just using him as a wall for now. I mean, if I've got a headbutt into the days, you know, the dusk is dawn. I'll happily do it. Okay, so what's he got on the bench? Is it a Chansey? 
Mm. See, I don't like that because there's a lot of resistant Pokemon there. I'm pretty sure this guy's got the Alakazam line as well, so if he does, he might use Chance here as a bit of a wall for the uh, damage swap. Ooh, Dugong. In that case... If we can get a water energy on Seal, he's going to become a real threat. Mm. No, we need, another, we need another water, ideally. So let's put that on Kadabra, then. It'll be next to dead by the time he gets Comet Punch off. Hopefully we can get a water energy this turn. No, Blastoise, okay. Not ideal. Yeah, he's gonna go for Comet Punch, that's okay. As long as he doesn't get three. Okay, that's... That's two. Damn it! Oh, damn you! Of course, now I get a water energy, right? Is it minus 30 or minus 20? Damn it, man, 30's a lot. That's okay, it means he's not damaging my um, uh, Kadabra. You watch, you won't kill it now. He might not either. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. No, 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 God. That was lucky. Okay, we've got some water energy on the go, that's good. Chance is kind of scary, because uh, it's that double edge. Okay, no scrunch for you. Snorlax, I almost forgot about you, sunshine. You could come in really handy. I only do 20, but it's a start. Oh, Not good. You're not getting very lucky with that scrunch, are you, Chansey? Okay, uh, he's going to get it off eventually, that's fine. Damn man, I might be able to add deck him if he keeps drawing like this. This is the problem when you've got Kangaskhan, and you see. You end up drawing a ton of cards and you start using things like that. Like that Professor Oak and Bills and things, and before you know it, you've only got 10 cards left. I've got a pretty... F oh, crap. Well, that's Kadabra gone. That's a shame, because I could have one-shotted him. What a shame. Hmm. Send out Snorlax. He's res I'm pretty sure he's resistant. I hope he's resistant. And he can't be confused either. Ah, oh, you cheapo. You absolute cheapo. I knew he was going to... I thought, you know what, it's too good to be true. That's okay. Gives me an extra turn with Snorl. In fact, you know what, I'm going to start star you actually. He can't one-shot it, and I can get uh, Snorlax ready. I still do 20 damage to him. In fact, I might better get 40 on him. Yeah, I bloody I knew it. He's gonna use that chance here as a as a wall, basically. Okay, not confused. Oh, 
Oh, that's a damn shame, isn't it? Okay, he's got a few prizes now, so I don't want to really concede anymore if I can help it. So at this point, I want to be getting Lapras ready if possible, or another Pokemon, but... Nice. Because he won't be able to damage swap that, because he's paralysed. If I can keep pulling that, I can get rid of his Alakazam. That's for Lapras. Oh, you go, Snorlax, you absolute legend. Yep, Lapras is pretty much tooled up and ready to rock and roll. That chance is practically dead. Energy search handy. That's okay. Can't receive damage, but I can paralyze it, so that's uh, that's potentially important. I've got a good feeling about this, guys. Nice. You ain't no scrunching next turn, Sonny. I might outdeck him at this point. Let me just check uh, my discard. Yeah, no problems there. That's okay. He's not ready for double edge yet. He needs two for that, two more for that, so. I don't think that's what he's going for. I think this is literally a wall to stop us getting his psychics. Uh, go for another psychic, because it's never a bad thing. This Snorlax has been an absolute legend. Look at this. Look at this noise. He's just body slamming forever, this guy. Uh, no real reason to use that, so I won't bother. Well, one more. Oh, that's a shame. Now that's a damn shame. Really? What was the point in that? Because, with all due respect, they're both pretty much dead, and neither are really capable of doing a... Um, Double edge, because they'll kill each, they'll kill themselves. So yeah, that's a big waste of energy if you ask me. Yeah, putting out a psychic Pokemon at this point would be a massive risk, but um, I don't think it's going to be. Um... Oh no, that Mr. Mime. That Mr. Mime's a pain in the ass, because what it'll do, he's got a thing called Invisible Wall, which means you can't hurt him on anything over 30 damage. Or 30 damage or over, sorry. You just can't hurt him. Damn it, man, where's my squirrels? So, if he gets that, I'm going to have to retreat. a really nasty Pokemon, that. Yeah, there he is. I might actually see if I can confuse it with Lapras. Let me just check his... Um Um, every attack does 30 more damage, yeah, eliminates it. That's really nasty, that. Oh my god, it's going to take four? Jeez. 
Okay, confused, right? Let's... Oh. It's so close, guys. So close. Yeah, Meditate does 10 damage plus 10 for every damage counter, so... Well, it does 10 for every damage counter, sorry, so... You don't even mess in with that too much. Okay, it's confused, so he might kill himself. Nice. Very cool. Oh, that's Squirtle. Thanks for showing up, dude. <clears throat> now, do I risk it? Let's get Squirtle out. Let's start loading him up, just in case I get the opportunity to uh, do something with him. Now, I could do 30 just straight damage. 30, 30, 31, 31. He can't do it. What I was checking was if for every turn, if you put a psychic uh, an energy on Kangaskhan, can he get to Comet Punch? I don't think he can. And it's gonna take. Th he's definitely done it. That's it. That's just won us the game. Unless he's got a switch or something, we've won. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to retreat on two. No way. That's it. We've done it. We've got the psychic battle, guys. Oh, how exciting! That was a great duel, really close. That Mr. Mime's a nasty piece of work. Yeah. So what's left? We've got the lightning. Huh, I lost. It must be pretty good if you're trying to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Here, take the Psychic Medal. It's just lightning left. Laboratory booster back. Oh, because it's got Mewtwo on it, I suppose. Hypno, Marowak, got tons of Marowaks. Yeah. Ooh. It's got one energy card attached to one of your own Pokemon on to take two off of an opponent's Pokemon. That's good. Slowbro. Eh, some decent cards there. I was going to see the old man, because he said if we did uh, deal with him, we could get some, get some off him. Did you defeat Murray? No, we nicked it off him. I mugged him for it. I felt, the worst part was I didn't see it coming. I feel so much better. Here, let me give you this Mewtwo card. Ooh. Okay, it's the same Mewtwo we've got, but it's the promo. That's the one you got for going to see the movie, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's read... Oh, got two. Are you getting any closer to inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards? Murray of the Psychic Club, I have some information. It seems to be a deck he uses Alakazam's uh, damage swap. It'll be difficult to defeat his deck of Psychic Pokemon. Psychic Pokemon are tricky since their weakness is Psychic Pokemon. Try to defeat him before his Pokemon evolves to Alakazam. Murray is a tough opponent. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he was pretty good, to be fair. A fable, Marowak, slow, bro. Not really going to change my deck much if I can help it. Fight to the end, don't give up. Give me tips on types and number of cards. Three of basic, two of it's stage one, one of it's stage two. If you follow this rule, your deck will be well balanced. Shove about 14 basic and uh, Pokemon. Anywhere between 20 26 energy cards. PS, two booster packs. Ooh. You spoil it. Ooh, another Mew. Psywave. 10 damage times 10. Time damage times the number of energy cards attached to the defending Pokemon. Ooh. Evolution Beam, choose an evolved Pokemon. <laughs> Return the high stage evolution card that Pokemon to its player's hand. Decent. That's the other Vaporeon again. Nice. Imposter Professor Oak. Nothing too uh, mind blowing. Let's have a little look at this scene then. I've got one Snorlax to one Eevee. We could probably afford to get rid of a water energy at this point and stick that new Mew in. I quite like that one. That's the one we wanted. Um. 
Did you take Star me out? I might as well get rid of Star you then, I guess. Put the other Mew in. And another Psychic Energy, and that'll be good to go. Excellent. Well, guys, I think this has been a pretty monster episode. We've won the Challenge Cup. Uh, we've uh, managed to get two medals, and uh, I'm going to end the episode there, so thank you very much indeed. I will see you for another episode very soon, and enjoy the rest of your day.